Diablo Cody's script is perfect, so if I didn't do anything and just said the words, it, was, it would be good enough. So I first became part of Lisa Frankenstein when I had a meeting with our director, Zelda. And we just had a general Zoom after I read the script, and I just, I didn't even see myself in the role. Like, I had no idea how to approach this character. It felt like a no-brainer, and it also felt like something that I was so scared of. And Zelda just made me feel like she wanted to do something. She wanted to bring back the unreal reality. I can't believe I'm in a Diablo Cody movie. Like, there's just all these movies that she's done that I don't even realize is the same person. And then you read a script like Lisa Frankenstein, and it's not, it's like nothing she's ever done. And yet I think it's like the purest version of her. I don't know. The thing about Diablo style for me is the words. There's little alliterations. There's just, it's the kind of dialogue that I never want to mess up. Lisa Swallows is her name, is this girl who isn't heard. She doesn't speak up, she doesn't love herself very much, she doesn't think she matters very much, she's been through a lot of trauma, and uh, she, she brings sh this guy from the dead, this Victorian man, <laughs> who knows how old he is, and is finally heard for the first time. It changes everything about her, the fact that someone listens. 